I've organized this event in the hope of helping us, the BIMS community, to not only get together to address socially and indeed historically important issues, but also to enable us to learn about one another, to, in effect, help us better understand our intellectual orientations, which we all use, of course, to interpret, process, and understand, although we're not always conscious of those orientations. In this context, I've asked our guests a few to talk uh, for 10 minutes each, not necessarily about what they know in terms of their research, but more importantly, I think, how their biographies and professional training are shaping how they are thinking in relation to the topic. In other words, I'm hoping we can use this panel to be reflexive, to better understand why we're thinking as we're thinking when we see, hear, or read news coverage of the so-called war on terror, a war that, of course, constitutes, at least publicly, the articulated reason for Canada's participation in Afghanistan, and of course, the reason behind a broad range of policies, many of which I'm sure will be touched upon, both domestic and international, that have affected our lives after September 11th, 2001. After our panelists speak, we'll open things up for audience questions. There'll be a boom mic, I understand, that will be directed towards you, so wait momentarily for the mic to more or less reach you. Um, and we'll go till about 1.20. Okay, our first speaker is the CanWest Global Fellow here at FINS, the former Dean of the Graduate School of Journalism, Peter Deborah. Prior to joining Western, Peter was, of course, for many years, a working journalist in print and television. Among other experiences making his contribution today, I think, particularly relevant, Peter served as one of three principal investigators for the Commission of Inquiry into the de deployment of Canadian forces to Somalia which was, as you might recall, a government commission established to investigate misconduct by Canadian soldiers in the early 1990s. Before um, I ask Peter to begin, I would be remiss not to also mention that he has been named an officer to the Order of Canada, an honor that Peter will formally receive at a ceremony being held this Friday in Ottawa. So uh, congratulations. Please help me welcome Peter Devlin.